When the Nina Parks Department decided to extend a trail in a popular park, they had to be extra careful about the process. Olivia Acri spoke to the park's director about the precautions they're taking as they dig over historic Native American land. Good news for Riverside Park fans. So what we're doing here today is an extension of the Lakeshore Avenue Trail. The Lakeshore Avenue Trail Edition is back on track. Taking it from the east side of the park around to the west side of the park um, along the shoreline. Two years ago, the city implemented the first part of the trail and found something unexpected. It halted the project. We had to stop bringing UW Milwaukee as the archaeological and the State Historical Society on site. They discovered over 2,000 Native American artifacts. The minute we did, you know, we had to contact the, the tribes and the Historical Society. According to the director of the Menominee Indian Tribe. But they found human remains also, and the tribes got together, did a ceremony for them before they were buried. I'm standing over grounds that were historically inhabited by the Menominee Indian Tribe. They also became the grounds for a Nina Parks project that made major discoveries. I spoke to an archaeological expert about what they found. We have identified um, what we felt were cultural features, and cultural features are evidence of past houses or cooking pits. Though quite the find, it's better if they don't disturb the land anymore. We worked with the city to um, to literally avoid impacts to the to the site. This time around, they are hoping to minimize impacts. We really don't want to find any any human remains or any shards, um, and that's just from a practicality standpoint, but also just uh, a respectful uh, perspective. Let's just leave intact what's intact. The city of Nina hopes to have the trail done during the beginning of November. In Nina, Olivia Acre, NBC 26.